Greetings from Team Lohan. We are a committed group of undergraduate students from Vellore Institute of Technology, advancing mass rover prototype. Our team is organized into six departments: Mechanical, Electrical, CS and Autonomous, Science, R&D, and Media and Management. It is our honor to share with you the design report of this year's rover, Mark X Druva. This year's rover was designed to ensure high mobility, terrain adaptability, and reliability for extraterrestrial environments. The rover uses a double rocker mechanism integrated with linear actuators to create an active suspension system, enabling dynamic adjustment of ground clearance and wheelbase to optimize the rover's performance to traverse extreme landscapes. The rover is capable of climbing an incline of up to 70 degrees. A new robotic arm with 6 degrees of freedom has been designed to perform a wide range of tasks such as toggling switches, plugging a USB cable and typing on a keyboard precisely. Custom manufactured worm gears with high reduction ratios are used to reduce the backlash at joints. This year, a bevel differential mechanism is also implemented at the wrist joint, which has made the arm compact while giving us the ability to control the end effector precisely. A completely bio-inspired end effector has been designed and built and gives us the high gripping strength while being dexterous. The grippers made out of 3D printed TPU are designed to conform to the object's shape through the teeth-like structures. The robotic arm is capable of carrying a payload of up to 10 kg. The electrical department is responsible for developing the rover's onboard electronics, ensuring the system is strong, dependable, practical and efficient. Their tasks include designing printed circuit boards, wiring the modules together and writing all low-level code. The robotic arm is equipped with 12 volt DC motors, each controlled by Cytron MD13S drivers. These drivers connect to custom Canode PCBs with STM F4 modules for precise motor control. Each motor delivers 15 newton meter of torque with encoders at joints for accurate positioning. Inverse kinematics is employed to optimize joint angle calculations and improve control accuracy. The electrical system of the rover has been designed with safety, efficiency, accuracy, and ease of debugging in mind. The power system uses dual 10,000 milliamp power lithium polymer batteries and a custom power distribution grid with protection against electrical faults. An emergency kill switch controls two relays for quick shutdown in critical situations. All low-level code is written in embedded Let's see. The Jetson Orion Nano access the rover's main controller using canvas architecture for low latency communication with all its sub modules replacing i2c to reduce wiring and improve signal integrity. At the core of our system is a custom built autonomous anti-air operation setup powered by Rostu Humble. For communication between the base station and the rover we use two ubiquity rocket m2 modules operating in the 2.4 gigahertz band. The base station uses a sector antenna with a 15 dBi gain focusing signal sent towards the mission field. While the rover is equipped with an omnidirectional 10 dBi antenna, allowing seamless movement within the covered zone. Our imaging capabilities include high-performance USB cameras, providing low-latency video feeds for real-time monitoring and analysis. The system supports up to six simultaneous video feeds using WebRTC, ensuring real-time visual monitoring. For data visualization, we rely on Fox Web Studio and a local map server, helping us interpret GPS data effortlessly without active internet access. The autonomous system is based on a behavioral architecture, providing robust and adaptive decision making. The waypoints are generated using GPS coordinates in conjugation with a frontier-based traversal algorithm that ensures optimal path planning in unknown and uncharted territory. A combination of a custom-tuned neural network and computer vision algorithms enables us to detect the ROC attacks and traverse towards them. A simplified version of this autonomous attack won the first prize at the International Rover Challenge 2025 by completing more than 70% of the course successfully. The research and development department has worked towards implementing several advancements developed as a result of the continuous research work being done in the team. In order to facilitate the transition to USB cameras for receiving video stream, we have developed custom kernel modules for the Jetson Orion Nano that parallelize streams for multiple USB cameras while making efficient use of the network bandwidth. Additionally, we have developed a custom Kira-based compression module to enable efficient data transmission over limited bandwidth. We have also implemented inverse kinematics on a robotic arm to simplify. In the past two years, the R&D department has been developing a 3D printed wheel focused on enhanced traversability. We started with a fully 3D printed lattice design, lightweight but not compliant for fatigue loading. Next, we tried a 2D spring layout with TPU outer layer. It performed well in one direction but lacked multi-directional flexibility. We then shifted to a 3D angle spring configuration which provided effective force distribution in both directions. 
parallel to this, we are developing a multi-stage cyclotidal drive with step reduction designed to deliver high torque in a compact form factor and significantly reduce backlash. This year's science payload consists of three subsystems, auger screw drilling system, carousel storage system and the instrumentation cluster which is designed for collection and storage of soil samples and analyzed geology on the site. The auger screw drilling system weighing 4.5 kgs with a cutting diameter of 20 mm is capable of penetrating up to 20 cm beneath the surface. It has a horizontal screw conveyor that transports collected soil sample onto the carousel storage unit, a rotating disc system weighing 2 kgs and fitted with multiple packing tubes for storage. This unit safely stores soil samples for later laboratory study. The instrumentation cluster for this year consists of the NPK sensor, Raman spectrometer and the digital microscope. All these instruments are mounted on a modular system weighing 3.5 kgs. The Raman spectrometer identifies minerals and organic compounds. A digital microscope is used for examining the physical properties of the rocks. And the NPK sensor is used to assess nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium content in the soil along with other parameters. Finally, a weather station on board monitors biologically relevant gases. We are currently working on upgrading the system to meet the competition requirements. The team's major focus this year has been to develop a truly innovative and next-generation mass rover. This innovation has brought in attention from various industries and has helped us present our rovers at various events such as the Bangalore Space Expo and the Autodesk Design and Make Summit. This also helped us meet various industry experts and gain valuable insight in, from them. In addition to this, we have also been showcasing our projects to the students to create awareness about space exploration and inspire them. We also take this moment to thank our sponsors who have been crucial in our journey to explore beyond the possible. Hope to see you soon at the finals.